you have voiced in the past about being anti-drug um, and that because it has to do with like your art and clarity. I mean, is that how you is that how you, do you still feel that way? I mean, it's uh, it's very uh, like uh, how do you say it? like definitive to say anti drugs, right? I'm, I'm right, right. Not anti drugs. Right. Like I'm anti killing yourself, right, or right. or either going. I'm anti drugs when you're working. Like mm-hmm. if you go on stage and you're fucked up, it's very disres- I think it's very disrespectful. Like to go on stage drunk or or like so high that you cannot like even fucking connect or remember your song or you're singing like shit because you're fucked up. I think it's very disrespectful because once again, there's people paying to paying their money and mm-hmm. saving their money mm-hmm. to come see you. And it's not just the the gig ticket. Sometimes they have to take planes and they have to pay for the hotel. And um, it's 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 just so disrespectful to like if the if the ticket it's 20 euros 20 dollars mm-hmm. it's 20 dollars i'm paying 20 dollars to see you at your fucking best possibility i'm not paying to see the worst version of yourself mm-hmm. if you're gonna be the worst version of yourself i'm gonna pay one euro yeah i'm gonna i'm paying for the full performance like if you go to a hotel and you pay 2k for for a room and then the bed is it's dirty you don't (laughs) want to pay 2k anymore yeah you know it's a service and i think it's the same people pay for a it's not a service but people pay to see something experience yeah you're paying for an experience the full experience yes and if you give them less than that you should give them back the money yeah i understand that also you know we were talking before about overdoing it, overdoing drugs, not doing it in moderation. Unfortunately, you know, the 27 Club, some of the greats, the greatest musicians to ever live, Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison. You know, when you hear stories like that and how famous they were, and a lot of times they couldn't deal with the fame, does that resonate with you at all? Just how how they were unable to deal with fame in a lot of cases? Um. I think that nowadays we have so many more tools Mm -hmm. to avoid it. Like mental health was not a thing at the time. Um, Also, they knew that drugs weren't good for your health, but they didn't actually knew how bad they were. And uh, especially like in the 80s, the industry was like wild normalized like, it yeah, yeah that was, was the default like that was wild. the norm yeah, yeah. so it was uh, i think the worst time to be a celebrity because the labels were fucking sque- expensing it <laughs> yeah and like squeezing everything out of you yeah um and you had no chance like to to go against it like you didn't have like a platform to say my label is killing me right like now you just do an instagram story and everybody knows what's going on so we have we have more tools and and also i think there's there's some artists that are doing great thing to make people understand that we are humans like um, last year that Shawn Mendes canceled his tour, I was like, he's the bravest so guy brave, yeah. on earth. 